What's up everyone? Today I'm going to have my June favorites and I guess let's go ahead and just jump in and go. I'm a big fan of Makeup Geek Shadows, but they are definitely one of my June favorites this month because I've used Makeup Geek Shadows in like 90% of the looks that I've done this month. Um, between this and my other favorite, I've used it constantly and I hope that you guys have tried some of these out. They are usually $6 a shadow or $10 a shadow for um, the foil shadows, which are also amazing. My mother-in-law has a couple that I've borrowed. Perfection. I would love to have the whole collection if I could, but a girl don't got that much money. So, my next favorite is the Tarte Tartlet. You guys know you saw me use this a lot. And I absolutely love this palette. It's so perfect and simple for every day. And honestly, I've gotten so much use out of this. If this is the only palette I have with me, I can actually get many looks out of this. So if you're going to be gone where you know maybe you need to do a lot of makeup sometimes, but you really won't need to do your makeup a whole lot, you could just get away with taking this one palette. I mean, it's perfect. I love it. Recently, I got a little more back into my Park App Princess. I have not been using this because I had left it here in Georgia. And once I got back, I was like, oh yeah, I really do love that still. So yeah, this is what I've been using. A couple of my videos, you guys have seen this, but I've used this some when we're like actually going to be out and about here in town. And I really like it. just makes it very subtle, nice, tan, bronzy look for me. Um, let's see. I guess since I went ahead and moved on to face from eyeshadows, we can go to... This Too Faced Chocolate Soleil. This is one of the mini ones, but I know, obviously, you guys probably know that they sell it in big ones. It's absolutely beautiful. It's a nice contour color. Um, it's a little, it goes a little orange on me sometimes, which stinks, but I think that's just because I'm so fair-skinned. Um, but it definitely does work very well. And you can definitely sheer it out. You just have to be very careful and use it very sparingly when you are actually using it. If you have skin that is as light as mine. Um, that is actually not what I have to contour on today. You'll see that. If you know what I'm saying. But um, my next favorite is, of course, the Balmary Luminizer. You guys have seen me use this in, I think, every video this month except for one. Um, and I absolutely love it. This is what it looks like. It's beautiful. I can swatch it for you guys. Like, can you not? I know you can make this more subtle, but you guys know I like a very intense highlight. And yeah, this just definitely gives it to me. I love it. What else? I'm trying to go like for face for you guys, but... Well, I guess I've got two different things for face left. Um, I have the Urban Decay Naked Skin Weightless Concealer. You guys have also seen me use this in almost every video. Today I did an all drugstore look on what I'm wearing. And I almost brought this out to still use with my drugstore concealer. Because this is definitely my favorite. Um, this is the lightest shade that they make. You guys can probably tell it's almost like white out with a yellow tinge. Because your girl is pale. And then I also have been using this, which you guys know I got in my Ipsy bag. And this is just the Smashbox Photo Finish Foundation Primer. I use this. Actually, I think I have used this in every single video that I filmed this month. You guys have probably heard it in my voiceovers because a girl can't say it for nothing. But it works great, especially here where it's so hot in the Georgia sun. It makes such a difference. So I definitely would recommend this to anybody with dry skin or if you're going to be out in the heat for a long amount of time. Definitely made a huge difference. Um, also, my Urban Decay All Nighter Spray. You guys know I've been using the Smash, Smash Box Primer Water religiously ever since I bought it pretty much. But um, I definitely... I've gotten back into this, and I think I want to get, I, I'm, this one is going to be out pretty soon, but I want to get the Chill Setting Spray, and I want to get a big B6, because my B6 is gone, and I just realized how much I really did love that, but um, 
I love this. I'm actually going to spray it right now because I forgot to spray the setting powder because I know our setting spray because I don't have any drugstore ones. So, one second. <sighs> Feels so good. Ugh. Except it went in my mouth. Disgusting in your mouth. But this stuff is bomb.com. You guys know that. I wish they sold the chill in a small one so I could try it. But I think I'm either going to keep getting the all nighter or get a chill to try. But I'm going to need to get one soon. Let's see. Um, I guess I'll finish with makeup and then I'll go to skincare and a couple of other just random things that I have. Um, so you guys have seen me use this. It's the Sephora how do they call this, retractable brow pencil, and it says this is waterproof, I don't know, I just wipe my makeup off at night, how I normally do, so it is what it is, but I definitely like this, you guys know I was not a big brows person, I didn't do much with my brows before, I don't know, the past month, so now that I've kind of gotten into doing them, you guys can see that they are on fleek today, I also did not use this because this was not in my drugstore stuff that I wanted to use today, but I do like this. I've used this in many of my videos this month, and it's definitely made a huge difference. Um, this one will be a no-brainer. You guys know I love this. This is the Kat Von D Sudden Lipstick in Lovecraft. Um, one of my favorites. I wish they had one that was just a tone lighter because the next one lighter is Noble, and it's too light for me. It's almost the same as Agatha on my lips, so I would just rather keep my Agatha that I have. So, yeah. Let's see. Mascara. You guys know I'm mascara freak. So, this one is the Too Faced Better Than Sex. You guys know this is one of my holy grails. But, I have a mixture that's like way more holy grail. And that is using the Marc Jacobs Omega Lash. Let me show you guys this wand. Like, can you just not? Look at that. That was beautiful. And it works so well. And the two of them together, there's nothing better. Like, when I had to use drugstore stuff today, I was okay with using my Jordana Best Lash, but, girl, I wanted to use these so bad on my top lashes, and I just had to resist. And my lashes still came out fine, but this makes all the difference. This one keeps my lashes so soft, and they don't feel like they're caked on with mascara, even though... You Y'all know me. <laughs> They're caked on. But it just still feels soft like my natural lashes. And I feel like it lasts very long. These two together definitely last forever on me. And I wouldn't want to pick. If I had like the last two mascaras to pick in the whole world, it'd be these. Well, and I'd want Jordana. But these two <laughs> would be great for high end. Um, so next I will move on to skincare. And I told you guys about this in my Sephora haul that I had a couple weeks back. And, okay, this is what I've been using. It's, excuse me, I have, like, really bad hiccups right now. This is the Clinique Ac Acne Solutions 3-Step Kit that they have at Sephora. This was $25, I think. Maybe it was just $20, but I think it was $25. And my face has cleared up so much. I have had a lot of problems since I had with moving and all the stress and things like that um it's just taken a real toll on my skin and I haven't necessarily been drinking as much water as I should either so that's not helping but um these three together make such a difference on my breakouts and like I get really hormonal breakouts so I get them right through here I get them around my lips on my chin sometimes on my forehead things like that one minute so, this definitely helps. Um, I really like this dramatically different moisturizing gel. And you guys can see I've gone through quite a bit. Which is somewhat an accident because sometimes I don't pay attention when I'm putting moisturizer on my hand. And I just put a whole ton that I don't need. So, yeah. I would definitely recommend these Clinique products to anybody who has acne problems. Or, you know, even if you had oily skin, that stuff would work. What? And here she is. Say hello, everybody. Say hi. Hi. So, hold on. Your hair is wild. Don't judge us. Alright, so for the rest of my skincare, I will go ahead and just show you what I've been using to take off my makeup. 
you guys saw me do a first impression on this. This is the makeup eraser, and you guys can tell it's definitely well loved. This is fresh out of the dryer. Um, I did I did find out that they made a black one of these now, and I huh, wish I would have known that because girl would have bought it. But almost every night, this side is the makeup remover side, this side is the exfoliating side, which you guys can see by the big stain in the middle that almost would make attention one night. But I definitely love this. I would recommend this to everybody. Um, I have not used wipes on my face other than maybe one time, and that's just because I was lazy, or this was in the washer. Maybe both. But I definitely prefer this. I would say everybody should get one of these, or at least try it. It works amazing. Also, I've been using these Olay Everything Off Wipes. I don't like these on my face very much. But it does help if you, like, mess up your brows or mess up your wing liner to clean. This helps really well to clean that up. And, like, when I swatch things, this is so good. And you guys know I usually put my foundation on my hand and then put it on my cheeks. Okay. So this makes such a difference to go ahead and take that off my hand because sometimes I forget and then I'm like, oh, nice. I've had foundation on my hand all day. So, this helps when I'm doing my makeup. If you guys see me, like, stop and wipe off my hands, this is generally what I'm probably using. Um, but you can see that I took the highlighter right off. There's nothing left on there. And I had, like, this weird, like, see, look, I have this weird black mark. And I don't know what the heck it's from. But this makeup eraser is taking it off, or the makeup wipes are taking it off. So, whatever. It's working good, and I definitely like them. They weren't, I think they were, like, five bucks, I think. They've been alright, but I just don't like them on my face. They really irritate my eyes, so I haven't been using them. Anyways, next. I have the Hand Food by Soap and Glory. I wish that they were 